Uh, Southern Company and Scana have applied for new licenses for uh, reactors, for the first to be built in more than, the first licenses for construction in more than 30 years. Can you talk about the timing of this, when you expect those to happen, and um, also the, the design of the, of the reactor they're going to be using them? Well, the, the commission is in the final stages of our review. Uh, for those new uh, reactor licenses. Um, and I would expect that we'll have some final decisions in the next uh, month or, or, or so, uh, next month to two month, months, really. What bearing does the license, does the reactor design have on those final decisions? Uh, we have to both approve the design itself uh, and then uh, the broader license, uh, which addresses all of the, the issues related to the site itself, some of the environmental factors and, and those kinds of things. So it's really, there are two pieces of our review that are left, the design itself and then uh, the license uh, uh, for the site. Are there, are there lingering safety concerns with the reactor design? Well, the Commission has uh, all of this material in front of it. Uh, we have uh, reviews from our staff uh, about their, um, their views on the, on the design. Uh, they have recommended that the design is safe. Uh, it's now up to the Commission to, uh, to review that and decide whether it agrees. Southern and Scanna were both hoping to have the review done uh, by the end of 2011. What, and now it looks like a month or, or possibly two. What's been the cause of the delay? Well, I think we're making very good progress, uh, and um, we ultimately uh, make our decisions based on safety. Uh, and I think um, uh, we're very, very close, and we're in the really the, the final stretch of, of these um, these reviews. So uh, uh, I think we'll um, uh, we'll be uh, likely very close to to the end of the year, uh, if not before. Mm -hmm. There have been some groups that have said uh, that the lessons learned from Fukushima should be incorporated in those reviews. Uh, can you discuss that a little bit? Are they being are they being incorporated? Well, we uh, we established a task force to look at uh, the events of uh, Fukushima, uh, and that task force had some thoughts and recommendations about the design that's being considered for these these plants, uh, and they believe that it had some advanced features that would make it um, uh, uh, able to deal with a Fukushima type event very well. Um, the commission itself is now deliberating on exactly how we would um, address that in the licensing process, and uh, there's different different views, and uh, um, and uh, it's something that we'll uh, we'll uh, hopefully have some decisions on soon. How quickly do you think the lessons learned from Fukushima can be implemented? Well, I'd like to see us move forward with uh, with a number of these regulation or requirements or recommendations as soon as possible. Uh, the, um, uh, the Commission has uh, identified a subset of, of recommendations that are high priority, that are things that we can move on quickly, and uh, I'd like to see us uh, getting those requirements to the utilities in the next couple of months and, uh, and have them start making modifications or changes as, as soon as they can. Can you mention one or two of those? Well, one of the things I think is important uh, is, is looking at going through the facility and identifying all the equipment that uh, serves a, a safety function for earthquakes and making sure that that equipment is, is working appropriately. That's something that a lot of the plants have done already, so we just need to do that again and, or, or review what they've done through our formal uh, regulatory processes. We have done some inspections of that equipment already, but we want to go back and, and, uh, and do it now with a little bit more time and a little bit more rigor, and I think that's one we can, we can begin on um, uh, very quickly. Uh, we want to begin uh, also um, the process of creating a new regulation to deal with the complete loss of electrical power at the site. That was one of the really important issues coming out of um, uh, the events in Japan. And that is something we know will take a little bit of time. Anytime we revise our regulations, it, it takes a, a, a few years. So the Commission has said that this should be a high priority and it should have a goal of getting that change to our regulations done in two years. So we need to start that process um, right away and, and get us into that, uh, that review. Do you have any plans to visit the Fukushima site? Uh, at some point, it's something I would like to do, um, but uh, I'll do it when uh, it's, uh, it's appropriate and when it's uh, convenient for, um, for uh, uh, our counterparts in Japan. Uh, the governor of New York has indicated that there, uh, it would be difficult to evacuate people uh, from New York City if there were an issue with the Indian Point reactor. Um, you suggested a 50-mile zone from Fukushima initially. Um, why? Why the difference? Is there is there a difference in the two? Should there be a 50-mile zone from New York? 
Well, fundamentally, the Commission is going to um, look at this issue uh, as part of our review from, uh, from the, the events in Japan and, and see if there are changes we need to make to our emergency preparedness program. But right now, that the 10-mile the requirement is a planning requirement. Uh, and it's, it's a, a very good program that uh, ensures that state and local governments and the utilities have a good system in place to deal with what are expected to be the, the consequences from, a, from a, an accident at a, a nuclear power plant. And fundamentally, the agency uh, makes, does everything we can to make sure that we don't ever have an accident or, or uh, something like that happen in the United States. And, uh, but in the event that there were, in the very, very unlikely event that there were, uh, we would always make recommendations based on what we see and what we think is appropriate to ultimately uh, ensure that the American people are, are safe and, and secure. And, and that involves working with state and local governments, with, with the power plants, to, to make sure that the right actions are taken. But right now, that 10 miles is, a, I think, a, a reasonable um, a distance that has served us very well uh, for a long time and ensured that there is a, a good, adequate uh, program in place to, uh, to ensure uh, protection of the public in the event of an accident. Is this something that the NRC is considering as it, as it reviews the relicensing application for Indian Point? Uh, it's not something that's formally a part of our license renewal process, and that's uh, just in general. Um, and uh, we look more at issues related to the aging uh, of components and aging management. Uh, this is something we would be looking at in the context of our um, Japan review. That would apply to every plant if we were to make changes, not just uh, the plants that are being relicensed.